Hi, I'm Camille Parker from Camille'sDish.com. Welcome to Foodie Chicago. Today I'm checking out Nelcoat, sexy new restaurant in the West Loop. Coming up on the show, the city's north side gets a new late night hotspot. A food blogger inspires some sweet treats at the Chicago pastry shop and see how a Chicago restaurant is bringing homemade pizza wherever you want it. But first I'm here with a chef and owner, Chef Jared Van Camp, who's cool. going to tell us a little bit about uh, your concept, your inspiration, where did this all come about? The idea is based uh, uh, inspiration-wise on Villanelle Code in the south of France where the Rolling Stones recorded Exile on Main Street in the summer of 1971. Okay. So kind of known as the biggest house party of all time. Okay, and are, are you and all of your partners big fans of the Stones? Absolutely. Is that where this came from? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so you mentioned before that you got to go to this place or this we area. We did. We were fortunate enough to visit there last year to do a little research and development trip. And yes, uh, research and development. That sounds <laughs> miserable. Yeah, Nobody no likes all. to do that. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And so, as far as the interior goes, does that? How does that relate? It relates to the villa itself. Absolutely. Okay. The, the design is very much inspired by the actual design of the villa, but you can see there's a little bit of the grit mixed with the glamour as there was in Villa Elko in 1971, with some kind of exposed pillars and columns here with some opulent setting and the chandeliers and things like that as well. It's fabulous. Thank you. So how does the food relate to that then? The food is very much inspired by that area geographically in the world. Uh, the south of France, the north uh, western coast of Italy, all that Mediterranean coast. A lot of uh, cross-pollination between France and Italy there in that area. Okay, so mostly French and Italian? Mostly French and Italian. So we get to see pizza and pasta? You get to see pasta. What else do we get to see? You get to see uh, a hen egg dish with some spring ingredients. So. Okay, but in your, your menu in general? Absolutely. Okay. Lots of pizza, lots of pasta, um, and a lot of other Mediterranean small plates. Okay, well, I'm hungry. Let's go in okay. the kitchen and find Sounds out. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the pasta dish that you have. All right. Tell me all about it. All right, well, we have some steamed nettle tagliatelle. Basically, what we've done is take uh, steamed nettles and, and blanch them, puree them, make a green puree, and then fold it into uh, some pasta with some whole back eggs. Up, back up, back up, <laughs> Steamy nettles. Yes. Very springtime. Very, very springtime ingredient. What does a steamy nettle taste like? Uh, it's very herbaceous. It kind of, to me, has a, a flowery parsley kind of taste. Do I get to taste it raw? You can, Is but I- Is it I'd, disgusting? It, no, you probably want to taste it cooked. Both, but well, I will. Well, I'm they call them stinging nettles because they have to be washed and all the oh, really? mm -hmm. mm. so, I'm Very say spinachy, parsley kind of thing. Spinach, parsley, almost broccoli raw, a little bit. Yep. A little bitter. bitter. Yep. Mm. Yep. Awesome. Okay, right. so that's made into pasta. Yep. And then what With do we have? With the flour this? that we mill in house as well. Right. You mill the mm -hmm. flour in house. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Well, we uh, we have a flour mill downstairs where we take whole wheat that we buy from a local Illinois farmer and mill it down to double zero fine flour. And what does double zero fine flour mean? It refers to the, the the fineness of it. It's the finest flour you can possibly buy. So it's a uh, a lot like AP flour would be like two steps even coarser than what this is. Okay. It's used a lot in pizza and pasta in Italy. Mm -hmm. What does the fineness do for the texture of the pasta and pizza? Uh, very, very luscious. Um, very, very smooth. It allows it to be very elastic. And that very, um, again, lush mouthfeel that you get from a great pasta, a great pizza, a great bread. So it wasn't enough to buy the W.O. You wanted to just make it yourself? Yeah, well, we wanted to use a local Illinois wheat to do it. So that the only way to do it was to buy a mill and mill it ourselves. It's the only way to do it. That's the only way okay, to do it. Okay, let's make some pasta. Okay, sounds good. So what we're going to do first is cook the morel mushrooms. These are morels. Uh, I grew up hunting these. And we're just going to cook them in some butter with some thyme. Okay, so those are fresh morels. Fresh morels. Oftentimes we see them dry, right? Yep, yep. But in the spring, we get them fresh. Okay, great. So we're going to just cover those in the butter and then put the lid on it and let those cook. So next we're going to take the steamed nettles that we've just cooked off with a little bit of shallot and garlic. Once the morels are a little cooked. So they don't take very long. Not morels. long at all. So we drop that and that really doesn't even need 30 seconds. It just goes in, cooks real quickly, and comes right out. And I take just a little bit of cheese, Pecorino Romano. And just to brighten it up a little bit more, a little squeeze of fresh lemon. God, this is gorgeous. Take a little bit of that mushroom cooking liquid. A little extra butter never hurt anybody. Never hurt anybody. You don't want, you know, a lot of sauce. You just want enough to bind the bind the actual pasta. Oh, you have been to Italy. <laughs> the, the noodle is the star. <laughs> the noodle is the star. You just want a little sauce, right? Yep. So does this pasta get served 
as a as a primo piatto, sort of like they do in Italy. Exactly. Sort of a smaller portion. Exactly, space. and we encourage a lot of sharing here. Okay. So it is a smaller portion, but it is you know large enough that you could share a little bit, and then that way you can uh, try a few different ones. Tastes like Italy. The biggest compliment you can give me. We'll be back in the kitchen here with Chef Jared a little later. Coming up, Leanne Trotter takes a spin at homemade pizza, and we'll head to a bar that's bringing new life to Ada Street.